Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on lead code regarding count apples and oranges and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is medium. Okay, so let's go, go through the question. We are given a table called boxes with four different columns, box ID, chest ID, apple count, orange count and integer is the data type for all these four columns. Box ID is the primary key for this table, chest ID is a foreign key of the chest table. This table contains information about boxes and number of oranges and apples they have. Each box may include a chest which also can contain oranges and apples. We are also given a second table called chests with three different columns. Chest ID, apple count, orange count. Again, data type being integer for all the columns. Chest ID is the primary key for this table. This table contains information about the chests and the corresponding number of oranges and apples they have. Okay, so basically if you can think of it as, so there is a big box. Now some boxes can have a smaller box or chest inside it, which can have you know additional apples and oranges some of them don't have that and then in that case the app the box will be having some apples and oranges okay we are asked to write a sql query to count the number of apples and oranges in all the boxes if a box contains a chest you should also include the number of apples and oranges it has so basically a chest is inside a box right so if a box does not has chest so you simply return number of all apples. If it has a chest, so you add the number of apples in the box as well as in the chest, right? Similarly for oranges. Okay, so let's go through this example. So this is the boxes table. So box ID two does not have a chest. Rest everyone has a chest and these are their apple and oranges count. And the, these are the information regarding the chests. So for example, uh, for box ID 18, right? So for box ID 18, it has four apples and 15 oranges. And it also has a chest with chest ID 14, which has 20 apples and 10 oranges, right? Now output should be the total sum of apples and oranges, uh, right? So in total, in this, all the boxes, the total sum of apples is 151 and oranges is 123. Okay, so what we can do is we can start by since the information is in two columns, we need to perform a join. So we can start with joining these two tables. So from this table called boxes alias as B, left join the chess table alias as C on B dot chest id is equal to c dot chest id right so basically what will this do right so this will add so let me just demonstrate uh, so this is the boxes table let me copy it here right so now what will happen is that it will go ahead and see okay in the chess table right so it will see oh okay so null so it won't find null so here it will be having so the uh, columns apple count and orange count that comes from the chess table they will have null values for this for 14 right so for 14 it will have 20 and 10 similarly for uh, 3 right so for chest id 3 it will be having 19 and 4 and so on right so now what we need to do is since the when the chest id is not available the chest id is going to be null and whenever the chest id is not null then it is going to have a certain id and that for that id there will be apples and oranges so what we can do is we can return basically we need to return two columns which has the sum of all the apples and all the oranges right so let's start with you know case when statement so basically when uh, the chest id is null right so that uh, apples should be taken as the apple count right from the boxes table so case when b dot chest id is null remember 
B dot chest ID. Chest ID is also in the chest table. But we are seeing that okay, in the box does not have a chest. Then you do certain thing, right? Then you take the apple count from B dot apple count. Else, what do you do? You since it is not like when it is not null. Right, so there would be another column, right? Because we are performing a join. So B dot apple count from boxes table and C dot apple count from chest table. So in that case, you need to add both these apples, right? Because in to we need to calculate the total number of apples, right? So else B dot apple count plus C dot apple count, right? And now once you have that, you sum the entire thing, right? So basically, let's say if we were adding another column here, right? So here it would be for this row, it would be since the, uh, the test chest ID is null. So it will be having six, right? Uh, I'm talking about like after performing a join, let's say we have uh, C dot apple count and C dot oranges after this. And then we are, you know, using this case when statements, let's say we are adding an additional column. So for this row, it will, since there is chest ID is null, it will be having apple count is equal to six for this one, right? So for this one, since chest ID is not null, right? So it will take B dot apple count plus C dot apple count. So B dot apple count is four plus C dot apple count and C dot apple count after performing a joint 14. So 14 is 20. So 20 plus 4, 24. Right. So the second row will be having 24 and so on. Right. So now once you have that column, if you add the entire thing, right, sum, sum that entire column, you are going to get the total apple count. So that is what we are going to do. So sum this entire thing. Right. Now, another thing, since we started a case when statements, it needs to end. Right. So you need right end alias this as apple count right because that is the output column right and similarly for oranges you can just you know just copy paste this entirely because it is exactly the same thing right just copy paste and make necessary changes right so when chest id is null instead of apple dot count you write orange count right and just replace it so orange count plus orange count from different tables and alias it as orange count okay let me remove this this looks good since we don't need to order or something like that so this looks good let me go ahead and run this to see what happens so yeah this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases so yeah, this passes all the test cases and this runs pretty fast as well, right? So it was very easy, although the difficulty level is medium, but it is not that difficult. All you need to take care is that because there are two cases involved that if a chest, chest can be available in a box or cannot be available, if it is available, you need to add the number of apples and oranges from the chest as well. That is why we had to use case win statements and like it's quite straightforward, right? Let me know if you have any other or any better way of doing it or more efficient way of doing it. Uh, let me know in the comment section. And until then, I will see you guys in the next video.